Hi, this is a minute of Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now this week we're really informal, but I just want to talk a little bit about how a few uh, hours into Brexit, uh, how I think it's going to affect us app developers. Okay, so if you follow me on Snapchat, I, I told everybody a few hours ago that I probably wasn't going to do a video this week because you know there's so much going on with Brexit and everything like that. So, uh, so I told everybody I wasn't going to do it, and then I thought, well, I'll do a quick one. I'll do an informal one. So there's there's no green screen. We're just going to do it. Just ha have a quick chat about about exchange rates and how Brexit is going to affect uh, me as an app developer being in the UK. So first of all, just to give some background, we're only a few hours into this. It was only announced this morning, like at, I think, 6 o'clock this morning or something, that, that the EU was leaving. David Cameron uh, resigned at 8 a.m. Right now it's uh, you know quarter to uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So we haven't really seen very much of what's going on. There's lots of uncertainty. However, what I have seen is, the, is that the, the pound has really fallen. So if I show you here on my screen, uh, here is the... Uh, the GBP uh, versus the US dollar for up until last night. So you can see, you know, last night or just, you know, when they found out that Leave was going to win, the GBP fell, you know, to the lowest point it did in 31 years. So, and this is something I've been looking at, you know, not just because of this, but, you know, I've been, as an app developer, you try to keep uh, control of all the different streams you have come in. Most of the time it's in US dollars, so you have to convert it to your local currency, and that FX range rate changes a lot. So I was actually using an FX rate from like three years ago, which is way out of date, and only like two years ago started, you know, changed all my reports to use the new one. But like everything's changed now. So, so how does this affect me? Now, the first thing I noticed was here's my ad mob. Now, uh, yesterday, again, if you follow me on Snapchat, I tell you every day what my uh, what my ad mob results are, and uh, you know, it's it may be high for you, it may be low for you. For me, it's about average. All of last year, it was about 120 pounds per day, uh, but you know, for last ever since January of this year, we've had it around, you know, just at the 100 mark. So some days, on good days, it's over 100. On bad days, it's below 100. And already this morning, I can see that you, we have a really high. Uh, it's above 100 by a few pounds, but for this time of day, let me just refresh this screen. You can see that it's uh, I'm already at 45 pounds. It's not even four o'clock yet, so I expect that because I'm being paid in dollars and it gets converted into pounds, that will look a lot higher for me. Now this will have a big knock-on effect of me when I hire my developers because all the developers I hire is are overseas, so that means I'm going to be paying more for developers, uh, but earning more as things come in. Now, the downside of it is, because nobody really knows what's gonna happen, but the downside of it is, is that, you know, milk's gonna start costing more and, and transportation's gonna start costing more and petrol's gonna go up because the, the pound is low. So hopefully that bounces back soon, but it's the kind of thing you have to think about all the time. Now, if you go to the Google Play developer page, you know how you have to set your, uh, the prices for each location, hopefully you do that. And, you know, so if like say two years ago, like, like if you're like me, like two years ago, you set the, the base currency and just say auto calculate the rest. Uh, then you, know, you should probably do that every so often. It's something that I haven't even thought about up until just this week, that, um, that currencies change all over the place and a, a currency could be devalued in one location, but because Google Play has it like static, uh, you probably should go in there and just like, you know, play with those figures a little bit every so often. The nice thing about iTunes, of course, is you have those bands, you know, band one, band two, band three, and stuff like that. So. So that's all I want to talk about today. It'll be really interesting in the next coming weeks to find out how this is all going to really affect me. Uh, I Just to let you know, I didn't vote. I didn't have a view one way or the other. It was really kind of interesting the way that it turned out. I'm, a, I'm, I'm still an American citizen, so I'm just living in the UK. So, uh, so, but, you know, it affects me because it affects taxes and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, but, uh, you know, we'll, I'll keep you posted. And if you follow me on Snapchat, you know, we could t discuss it a bit more, a uh, bit more, as we go but so that's it this week very informal very you know non-technical but uh <laughs> that's it i'll talk to you next week
hey, I really hope you liked that video. Uh, now I do these once a week, so if if you if you want to hear more or you want to you know hear more about uh, our experiences with the App Store, either Google Play or iTunes, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and please like this video and and leave a comment. I love reading the comments. I love hearing what you have to say, even if it's just hello or 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 whatever. And and like I say before. Um, if you if you're not sure what to to say in a comment, like I never know what to say in a comment, I'll make it easier for you. Like if if you liked it, just go ahead and say gnarly, uh, which is an '80s term. Or uh, if you didn't like it, just say bogus. And and if you didn't think any of it, just say eh. Right. So and so that that would be a big 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 help. And and another thing you could do, uh, which I'd really appreciate it, if you're on the App Store and you want to try one of our apps, look up some of the Overpass apps uh, applications, either on iTunes or Google Play, and and leave a review and, and let us know what you think about it, either good or bad. But uh, you know, it, it's uh, we're all trying to you know build up in the market, so uh, so that would be a big help. So so that's it. I'll talk to you next week.